Hello, we're Jacob and Jenny, and we have arrived in Vienna, Austria. We just have a couple days here to explore this beautiful, elegant city, but we are really excited to get started. Vienna is the capital of Austria, and it is just a, such a historical, impressive city. It was the seat of power for the Habsburgs as they ruled the Austro-Hungarian Empire, and they put so much into making the city just drip with excessive beauty and gorgeousness. Behind us is the Opera House. That is our first stop, and we are just in awe of the gorgeousness of this building. This not only is a gorgeous thing to look at, but it has housed some incredible musicians throughout the ages, from Mozart to Pavarotti. You can even go in yourself to get a tour. But later, we have a very exciting way of seeing inside the Apple House that we'll get to show you, and we can't wait. But for now, we have to go see some other sites of the city. So we continue with our walking tour in Albertino Plaza. This area has, again, some incredibly gorgeous buildings, including the art museum here that uh, you can take some time to go into if you're interested. I don't know if we're gonna have enough time, so we might skip that on this trip. But behind us is also a reminder of the times when this when this area was under war and oppression. And the city doesn't shy away from the harder past. Uh, there is here a monument to the war when um, during World War II they were under Nazi occupation. Oh man, just dipping our toes into Vienna, it is busy. I don't know if it's because we just came from Salzburg, which had like a little more toned down, but this place is fossil and fossil. I'm honestly a little overwhelmed. There's just so much to see and just kind of navigating your way around. Um, I We're doing an audio guide, which I think is always really good, but I don't think it would hurt us to have a an actual guide, a person guided tour, uh, just to kind of get your bearings and have someone to kind of rely on to help you out. <laughs> oh man, look at this. You just are walking down the main central uh, pedestrian road and you turn around a corner and boom, you get this huge, massive cathedral, so ornate. Just all the fine details everywhere. Oh man, this is magnificent. It's crazy. So we are now at Stevens Potts with the incredible St. Stevens Cathedral. The cathedral is one of the oldest buildings here in Vienna and also just has some incredibly ornate architecture. Uh, it also has a lot of history to the area as kind of just the center of um, Vienna and uh, had some famous people get married there, including Mozart. Um, you can tour inside as well. Um, we may do that. We haven't just quite decided yet. Um, but the cathedral is on Stevens Potts, which is kind of just this central bustling area of the city. You can kind of just get a feel for the history of the city as well as just kind of feel the, the vibe and hustle and bustle of the area as well. I'm waiting for the time when our tour is going to take us into somewhere warm and get something to eat. Is that next? I don't I know. Guess. <laughs> So we accomplished our mission of finding food and I'm so hungry that I think I'm just going to dig right in. Ooh, so we stopped in a little visal here which is sort of like a bistro where you can get kind of like a hearty nice meal and a drink and that just really hit the spot. Oh, we had some, some meaty hearty meals and now I think I'm ready to keep on seeing what we can in the city. Oh, so we needed to, needed, I'm gonna say needed, to stop for some coffee and some tea in Vienna. And so far it seems like Austria in general, 
there is a big like cafe cake culture. And so it's like you come in, you get a coffee and a cake. And so we're taking a time to do that. I can get behind this. I got chocolate because why would you get anything else? <laughs> Um, one thing I noticed as I start all the cakes cold, they come in like a display case so you can kind of pick out what you want in some of the places. And um, so all the cakes are cold, but it doesn't take away from how delicious they are. Oh, so that demo cake and coffee was just so good. Such a nice little afternoon treat. I mean, I know it doesn't look like it, but it is still kind of afternoon time. Um, I'm really sad that America never really embraced the like late afternoon snack time, um, like a tea or pika or cafe. Anyway, we have a few more stops that we want to finish before we head in tonight. So we're now at the Hofburg, which is where the Habsburgs had their reign and is still used to house the president and some museums and uh, the treasury here as well. Uh, I can tell that it looks really beautiful and even if it, at night it, with the light shining on it, it does really look beautiful, but we're hoping that maybe we'll get a better daytime look tomorrow. Good morning. We are doing our second day here in Vienna. We're gonna see a few more sights and I think a few more bites as well. Um, but obviously first I need to get some coffee. Let's go. So we stopped in a nice little cafe that's been here since the 1890s, it said. Oh, and it's so nice and just, I just feel like all of the cafes in the city are just so nice and relaxing to just sit down and get a coffee. Uh, we got the typical melange, which is not that different than a cappuccino or something like that. And for breakfast, and I don't know if this is a normal breakfast food, um, I don't think it's the typical Viennese breakfast, which seems to be uh, mostly like meats and cheeses and things like that. Um, I wanted an apple strudel. Ooh, and it's warm and it comes with a vanilla sauce. So let's get some of that on there. It's just like swimming in vanilla sauce. I love it. Oh, that's very nice. The vanilla sauce is very creamy. And then the apple just has like a nice warm apple pie feel to it. It's just a great way, I think, to start my day. Oh, so this morning after our awesome breakfast, we are doing something a little bit different. We are doing an audio guide tour of the Ring Road here, so we're going to hope to see some different things that we saw yesterday via the tram system. It's not part of the tram system, we have our own audio guide, so we're hoping it kind of syncs up as much as possible, um, and we're going to hope to see some, some new things that we haven't gotten to see before. Field. We just got off of our Ring Road Tram Ride Tour. Um, whew, that was kind of a whirlwind of information. The tram is quite quick, um, so you gotta kind of keep bouncing around what stop you're on to get the right information from the tour. Uh, but it was really nice to kind of see the city from kind of the main road around. Uh, so the Ring Road used to be the walls of the city. But then once they got rid of the wall, they just started building a ton of just super impressive monuments around the whole thing. You have parliament, you have universities, the stock exchange, um, museums, just everything is so grandiose along the whole route. It is quite an impressive sight. Uh, I highly recommend, even if you're not going to do an audio tour on it, just take the tram around just to 
get your bearings and see a few of the sights. Um, you do have to make a stop in the middle. You take tram two for part of the ring and tram one for the other part. Uh, so, uh, but it's real easy to do and and you can just use public transit throughout the rest of the city. It's really good. Um, but I think now we are on to our next stop. We'll see what that is in a minute. Maybe. <laughs> stop is to the treasury to see the crown jewels. The crown jewels here are supposed to be the best in Europe, um, so I am very excited to see just pretty things, you know? Who doesn't love seeing just sparkling jewels? and they have a ton of stuff in there. One thing that I'm always impressed with is all of the like cloth things. Like I don't understand how they've survived this long. I mean they are like intense, like the embroidering is incredibly detailed and there's things on it like pearls and other fancy materials used but just the like maintaining those things for like hundreds and hundreds of years always impresses me. Um, there are also just some like giant necklaces, uh, various jewels, always fun to see. One of the things I really liked about the Treasure Museum is it wasn't just looking at a bunch of stuff. It was organized and explained in a way to really learn the history of the empire. Seeing the objects there as a way to learn more about the history was pretty neat. So yeah, I thought that was pretty worth taking out of the time, but now I think we're gonna go on to the next thing. So we were having kind of a hard time to decide what we wanted for lunch and everything is crazy long lines, but we came to this little like open face sandwich shop and we got a bunch of these like little tiny open face sandwiches and we got a variety of different little sandwiches. I'm not exactly sure what is what after kind of the chaos of figuring all of them. Mm -hmm. I think this one is egg. Very tasty. Nice little white bun. And I feel like such a giant with these tiny little beers. But it's perfect for the little finger foods. That was a nice little light lunch. And I feel like I have room for uh, more cake later. So, win-win. Oh, I need to put my foot back on the <laughs> inside of St. Stephen's Cathedral and we decided to come in and take a peek. You can do that for free if you want to go kind of beyond the barrier you have to pay for it. Um, but we decided since we've, we've seen our fair share of churches in uh, Europe that we would just take a peek at this one and then try to do some other things this afternoon. So I definitely recommend taking a step inside. Um, Although the inside is no less hustle and bustle than the outside of this crazy square. So, here at the Soccer Hotel, one incredibly noteworthy thing to get here is the soccer tort that was invented here. The soccer tort is one of the fine cakes that this city has and one of the most iconic ones. However, we don't particularly want to wait in this long line outside and have heard mixed reviews about how it actual good it is here. So I think we're gonna try somewhere else to see if we can have it. Oh man, I love cake, but yeah, that line, I don't know if it's worth it. So we decided to get our soccer tour somewhere else. We went to Oberla Cafe and we got seated almost right away. We had to wait for like one other person. Um, but I think that that is much more reasonable and this 
dessert looks delicious, so I feel like I'm not missing out here. So it has a hard chocolate shell, some cake with, I think, some apricot jam in it, and I'm going to also get a big dollop of whipped cream. Ooh. That is sweet, but the chocolate is like a dark, rich chocolate. Oh, I'm glad that we're splitting this because this is super decadent. We ate that too quick. <laughs> so I just love all the Vienna coffee houses. Going into them just feels like taking a step back in time. Everything just goes a little bit slower. You get all your fancy coffees and your delectable cakes and you're expected to just take your time and relax. No one's pushing you or hustling you to get out. Uh, you get that table as long as you want to just relax and kind of let time slow down a little bit. We have our last meal here in Vienna. Oh man, we had to get some classic Viennese staples for dinner. Oh man, I got the Toppelspitz, which is a boiled beef uh, that's served with uh, like a horseradish or an apple uh, kind of topping. It's supposed to be very tender, so I'm pretty excited. I've been looking forward to this. It's pretty noteworthy as a Viennese specialty. Oh wow, that just that cut right through. I should probably put a little bit of a sauce on it. That's a very green sauce. Interesting. Oh, that's really nice. The meat is really, really soft. Like, it just kind of crumbles in your mouth and like, melts as soon as you bite into it. The uh, topping has a nice, like, kind of tangy. It's like apple horseradish. So it has a little bit of zing from the horseradish, but it has like an apple kind of undercurrent. Uh, it's a very unique sauce. Um, but this is really good. And then I got potato. Mm. Ooh, like a roasted potato. Very good. Okay. It just kind of rounds out the whole meal. You really can't go wrong with some meat and potatoes. I got the So if you can't go to Vienna, I'll try to get this all at least one time. So it's a peel cutlet and it's a kind of thin, like thin fried. And put some lemon on there. Ooh, this is a lot of food, and I don't know if I'm going to be eating all of this. Mm. That's really good. The fry is like really fine and seasoned really well. Um, with the meat, it's very tender, I would say. Overall, pretty good. I think I'm going to enjoy this dinner. All right, so I think we've seen most of Vienna now and it is time for something we've been waiting for since we first got here. Uh, and that is kind of our grand finale of seeing an opera at the Vienna Opera House. Uh, we're going to see an actual Mozart opera, so I'm really excited about this. I don't know what we're getting ourselves into. We're inside the Vienna Opera House right now. I am very excited to start this. Opera, yeah. One of the highlights of our trip, I think. Holy smokes, this place is so fancy. It's so cool. I'm so excited, we can't. We can't be having a glass of sparkly about to watch an opera. Very excited. Oh yeah, just incredible. Highly recommend if you come. Um, 
even if you don't know German, uh-huh. yeah. um, it's great. They have a little screen there to translate for you, so you won't be lost. That was really helpful. Yeah. I don't know that I would have known what was going on. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it was helpful, but and it was just a great show. We saw uh, the Magic Flute mm-hmm. uh, from Mozart, and just absolutely incredible. You should definitely, even if you don't get to see that particular show, just come see something. Oh yeah, the, the building, time. seeing anything in there, I'm sure is just an experience. We felt very fancy. <laughs> <laughs> and there will be people around you who also look incredible, and it's even just like great people watching. Oh yeah. But unfortunately our time in Vienna is over. We had a great time. We know we missed a ton, so if there's something that you recommend seeing again in Vienna that we missed, let us know in the comments. Yeah, um, but even though our time here is up, make sure you subscribe because we have another wonderful trip coming up in store next. <laughs>